Hello everyone, I'm of course John Dorai in Tokyo, Japan. Now it appears that um Chernobyl has got a facelift. That's right, uh, recently a new dome is gonna finally be put on top of the old one which was hastily built by the Soviets. And one of the worst nuclear power explosions and meltdowns in the history of the world. Now this new dome literally dwarfs the old one. This new one is the size of two soccer fields and it's tall, reportedly, as a Statue of Liberty. Now, if you don't know exactly what happened at Chernobyl, uh, basically you had a massive nuclear explosion and subsequent meltdown during a testing of the system. Now, this spewed out tons of nuclear radiation all across Europe, killed many people, caused the lives of many others trying to contain it. Now, what the Soviets did was put a concrete sarcophagus over it. And uh, liquidated everything in the area. It means like a, you burn, destroy anything around it. And you, they, they got away from it. So let's hope that God just doesn't come back again. But as you know, every few decades when you do something like that, this type of meltdown, you have to put a new structure on top of it. Because the current Soviet one is at high risk for leaking and collapse. So they put it this new dome. And this is very telling of exactly the kind of situation we also have in Fukushima. Or the Japanese government and TEPCO, which are the same thing because TEPCO is now state-owned, seem to play with Fukushima. And not really realizing what ultimately is going to have to be done. You have to bury it. You have to seal it. You know, they, they can't seem to make the necessary preparations to get this done. You can't sit there and keep playing with it and hope you're going to save it and stop the nuclear radiation. Once you have a meltdown, multiple meltdowns, might I add it, at Fukushima Daiichi. The only real option is seal it, contain it, liquidate the area, and you just hope that holds up long enough for you to come up with a better plan for a new structure when the time comes. But it doesn't seem to be happening here in Japan. They keep playing with Fukushima like it's some type of toy. It's not. It's a very serious issue, and it's still ongoing in Japan today. I want to hear your thoughts on all of this. Please leave a comment in the comment box below. First time you see me, I would, I would really appreciate it. Subscribe. Until next time, it's me, John Doe in Tokyo. Checking out.